Hello, I'm Emmanuel Bach. I'm back with the Two Minute Masterclass, and today it's Tchaikovsky's Souvenir d'un Lyosher, second movement, Scherzo. <laughs> This movement has a fantastic verve and energy to it that really fits with the title of Scherzo, which is usually uh, either a light or vigorous or playful movement or work. And in this Scherzo, we really have a ballet kind of feeling and this dance-like energy, this sense of uh, lift that's created by the piano part, especially just in that short introduction, which we have before the violin enters, that really needs to be maintained throughout the presto section, the two outer sections. And of course, we can benefit from working with a metronome and gradually increasing the speed to where we feel this sense of presto giocoso and uh, that joyful presto feeling that we need. And it also benefits from practicing slowly and just detaché like this. <laughs> emphasizing those accents that we have there and also these ones really ensuring that we open the bar more than on the other notes in that area and distinguishing very clearly when we increase the speed between the on the string and off the string strokes the pizzicati these they need to be resonant and ringing so we need to ensure that our fingers are actually quite firm of course, then there's this slightly menacing part here. And there, we can actually make it slightly more menacing by making the A flat in this double stop here. Slightly flat and the F sharp slightly sharper, so that it just increases the kind of uh, extremeness of that interval there. And uh, of course, we have this wonderful melodious middle section as well, and we can convey the expressiveness of it. Of course, through the vibrato, we can find a vibrato that I think is slightly on the faster side here. notice in that uh, little dolce moment the way I try to change the color there that just brings out the dolce character so basically playing ever so slightly softer I think it really benefits in this section from actually really scrupulously observing the dynamics and then each time this returning theme comes trying to vary it finding more ardor uh, when it comes a subsequent time and uh, finding the high point even more full of warmth and love and the romanticism that I think we associate a lot of the time with Tchaikovsky alongside as well this uh, tendency towards ballet-like energy and dance, a sense of dance in his music. That's all for today. <laughs>